Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I want to do a little bit of a discussion video slash me asking you a question video. So recently Book Riot put up a video asking their viewers basically what you consider the definition of well read to be. And then Nancy from Nancy Reads also put up a video kind of talking about what her definition of well read is. I will have links to both of their videos down in the description in case you guys haven't seen them. You can check them out for yourself. When the Book Riot video went up, I didn't respond because I didn't quite know how to answer that question basically and then once Nancy put up her video I kept thinking about it more and more and I also kept thinking about like why I couldn't come up with an answer and I felt like every time I would think about it my brain would basically just go why does anyone want to be well read like I feel like well read is one of those weird qualifiers I shouldn't say weird but it's like a qualifier or a descriptor that people really want applied to themselves and I don't completely understand why and this is me like I'm gonna try so hard not to sound like I'm being a jerk about this because I legitimately just don't understand I think it's kind of one of those words where it sounds nice if someone like describes you as being well read like that's meant to be a compliment it's sort of like the words beautiful or smart they are words that that have positive connotations but no one can really define those words like well read beautiful smart they're all sort of like subjective things like what I consider beautiful isn't necessarily what any of you consider beautiful and what I consider smart isn't what any of you guys might consider smart and therefore what I consider well read isn't what any of you guys consider well read so I never quite understood the need to achieve quote unquote any of those terms for yourself because it all varies from one person to another. I feel like the word well read is sort of like a keeping up with the Joneses type of term for people who like to read. Everyone sort of has this weird standard in their head of I need to read these specific books and then I'll be a well read person. I don't like that very much because I hate the idea that there are certain books that you have to read. Like technically no I mean there are books that are probably good for you to read in the sense of like if you want to be aware of like the literary canon like read these books or if you want to understand sort of like the historical aspects of evolution of literature or you want to understand references that other books might make to things that have happened in the past or writings of the past like obviously like that all makes sense to me but when it comes right down to it there are no books that anyone ever has to read like you're not going to die because you haven't read certain books. Um, Amanda says this in the Book Riot video but you don't get a special seat in heaven for reading all of Dickens and I feel like it's one of those terms where it's also like you're never necessarily going to achieve the title of well read or even if like say you came up with these are the 10 books that I need to read I'm just made up of really low number. Okay let's say these are the hundred books that I need to read and once I read these hundred books I will be considered a well-read person. There's a very good chance that once you read all those books you'll realize there are other books that are related to those books that you need to read in order to like really be well-read or once you read those hundred your definition of what well-read will change and evolve because I feel like that's again a term that's very malleable and it varies from person to person and as you move in your life you'll realize that well-read might not be what you thought it might be so I feel like it's the standard that no one is ever actually going to achieve and I don't want it to sound like I'm against pushing yourself or challenging yourself or you know I'm not against reading classics obviously like I always talk about like read diversely and read outside your comfort zone like those are videos that I've actually made on my channel but I think reading those things just because you want other people to think you're well read isn't necessarily a good thing like you should never really read for other people or so that way you'll look good to other people like I think it's understandable if you want to read certain books because you want to be part of the conversation that makes sense to me I understand if you want to read books again because you want to have the background and the knowledge that other people have like being well versed in the literature canon and things like that like all of that makes sense to me but I think it's just like the title of well read just feels like this goal or achievement that almost feels like a waste of time and I feel like it's also something that just makes people feel bad about themselves because they don't consider themselves well read. I watched Nancy's video and she gave this definition of well read which I really liked in terms of like 
I think it's an admirable goal to achieve, like she thinks in reading diversely in terms of race and gender and things like that, but also reading diversely in terms of genre, as well as pushing yourself and challenging yourself and reading things that aren't necessarily easy, both in the actual written word as well as the topics that are covered, and I liked all of that. But then she goes on to say that she's not well read, but she is working towards it, and I listened to that and I was like, Nancy, you basically fit your definition already. I mean, in my opinion, I feel like she fits the definition. And I started thinking about it and I feel like no one would necessarily categorize themselves as well-read, but if you think about it, like all of us who are here on booktube, we're like the 1% in terms of reading. Like we read an extraordinarily high amount. I would say like the majority of us or a significant portion of us read pretty diversely or try to read diversely and yet if we are well read like who is like who is this imaginary person who is the well read person that we're holding ourselves as a standard to again this probably just all comes down to the fact that well read is a weird word because there is no exact definition of it and so i feel like well read is something that shouldn't necessarily be a goal for us like I feel like there are different things or better things that we could be trying with our reading lives like being widely read might be better or being like diversely reading might be better like things like that I feel like are much more valuable because you can actually make conscious efforts in that direction like if you just said my goal is to be well read I would actually have to be like what does that actually mean or if even someone called themselves well read and didn't feel like they needed to be pressured into reading other books I feel like you are closing yourself off because you will feel like you're already at this point sometimes I think about it like if I call myself well read does that mean like I don't need to read any other books ever like that doesn't seem right either so I don't know I just keep thinking about it and I just keep going back to like why do we want to be well read like what is the benefit of it I guess part of it is that like we feel like if we were a well read people we'd be better people but I don't think a person's worth or value is really based on the books that they've read like I totally get like books can help change us and can open up our minds and teach us things and all of that good stuff but I don't necessarily say like just because a person has read books 1 through 100 on this list they are a great person so yeah that's my really quick discussion feel free to leave your thoughts down below either let me know like why you would want to be considered well read and what your definition of well read is feel free to disagree with me I'm not even completely Completely sure like my own thoughts I feel like this is still something I'm mulling over and chewing on I'm trying to figure out because I just keep thinking about it and I just kind of felt like I needed to talk it out a little bit so feel free to disagree with me and try to convince me otherwise because I will happily listen to other people's opinions on this topic so yeah that's all I have for now thanks for watching